this time we're talking all about literary mood. So mood is a feeling or impression that the author creates inside the story. And that's going to be a very important distinction when we start talking about tone. But today we're just focusing on mood. So it's the feeling inside the story or the feelings that the reader has about characters or setting in the story. So the first way we can identify the mood is through analyzing the setting. Um, so looking around um, for imagery that we can find, for sensory details like looks, smells, sounds, things that create very clear pictures in our minds can get us a picture of kind of what place it is and kind of how we would feel if we were there. The next way we can find mood is through characters' words and actions. Um, so we look at the situation overall. And we look at their reactions to the situation, to the other characters. Are they comfortable? Are they uncomfortable? Are they nervous? Are they scared? Are they excited? Are they happy? You know, their body language and tone of voice can also talk to the, um, help us figure this out. As well as what they say and their thoughts and emotions. So all of this kind of helps us build the mood and helps us figure out how are we feeling and how are the characters feeling inside the story. Um, there's several words that can describe mood. This is just some examples. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, but any time that you're describing an emotion, that's going to be describing mood. So cheerful, tense, terror, loneliness, calmness, mysterious, romantic, suspenseful, sad, angry. All of these are just some examples of common moods that you might find in a story. When you're identifying mood, first identify the situation. What's going on? What's our character doing? Do they want to be there or not? Find keywords and phrases that show your character's reactions to the situation. Are they excited about it? Are they scared? Are they tense? And what is the mood shown by all this? So, you know, are, are we happy to be here? Are we scared about it? Are we confused? Is it mysterious? We're trying to figure something out. So all of these are ways that we can find our mood in a story.